Hi guys, this is a how-to video on doing a slot gasket on your RS boat. Uh, you're going to need some basic tools and a couple of items to get this done. You're going to need a chisel, a one inch paintbrush, sharp Stanley knife, a mixing cup or jam jar, a pair of gloves, some masking tape, some 120 grit sandpaper, some mixing sticks or lollipop sticks, some old cloth or rag, and then you're gonna to need to purchase two items, which is Hyperbond, which is what we're gonna do this gasket with, which comes in three parts, and an RS slot gasket, which is pre-cut and prepared, ready for the job. So first of all, we're gonna remove the old gasket. Um, I've done some of this job already, just to speed things up. Um, but you're gonna find a loose corner, pick it up, and then just peel it back. And then just Peel it off. Next, we're just going to mask up around the recess for the gasket so that any of the repairing work is, doesn't damage any of the gel coat. So I'm just going to tape up along the line of the recess. When we get to the radius on the front, I'm just going to tear off lots of smaller pieces and just work round that curve. And now we're ready to remove some of the old glue. Okay, to remove the old glue, we're going to take a chisel. You'll find this will either be previous uh, hyperbond or contact adhesive, or it's going to be Sikaflex. Sikaflex requires a little bit more work to get off than hyperbond but we're going to take our chisel, make sure it's reasonably sharp and we're going to keep it really flat against the recess and we're just going to start taking, taking the top of the material off being careful not to gouge into the gel coat there or damage the edge of the recess take your time here because you don't want to damage the boat While we're there, we're just going to take any old stuff, any old glue that's gone over the edge of the recess off while we've got the chisel out. And next up, we're going to take our sandpaper and fold it over. And again, being careful to remain flat, you could use a block here if you weren't not so confident. Uh, we're just going to key up this surface and get it ready for the new glue, so we're looking to get rid of all of any glue that's left behind or Sikaflex, depending on what you have in there before, um, and make sure we've got no shiny surface and it's ready to take the hyperbomb when we come to it. When you come to the radius, if you use the corner of the paper just to run up, run up against the recess, just to making sure the area is clear of all the old glue because this is the most important place for a good bond as if this bit lifts you'll quickly lose your new slot gasket so we want to make sure this area is really well prepared we're looking here to make sure we've removed all all old material and this particular boat we've got both sikaflex and the hyper bond from the previous one so we just want to make sure all up against the recess we're getting rid of any old glue or mastic whatever's in there um, and then at this point we just want to get all of the old stuff off um, so we can wipe it down with with our cleaner and take the very last pieces off and prepare the surface okay so now we're gonna have a clean up um, we're gonna use the solvent 4 from the hyperbond kit which will require some gloves so I'll pop those on okay if we take a piece of rag and the solvent and just open it up just tip a bit onto your cloth lid back on because it will evaporate and you'll lose it and then we're just going to clean up the old surface making sure we've got rid of all the dust any contamination any leftover uh, glue that's on there you'll see that come off if you couldn't quite get it with the sandpaper if it's in low points it will come off now and then we want to get into this case as well just to make sure all the dust is all out
There we go. And now the surface is prepared and ready to take a new gasket. Next step, the gasket itself. So, as I said, this is pre-cut from, from us, from RS, um, with the slot. And what we're gonna do, uh, you wanna have it mat side up, shiny side is the outside. And I've got some paper here, just so we don't make too much of a mess. And we will, I'm just gonna tack it down a little bit with a bit of tape, just so it doesn't roll back up as we do it. So just take the very end, and the same at the other end. Uh, important point here is not to use any solvent on the inside of the gasket because it will ruin the surface and it won't stick. So we're not going to clean the surface prepared, ready to go. So we need to mix up some hyperbond now. So the two parts that we're really interested in is the small glass tin and the larger tin. Uh, we use Hyperbond RS because uh, it's actually a bit of a waterproof uh, contact adhesive which is originally used or was originally discovered to be used in sticking rib sponsons together so it's got a really strong bond and the water won't break it down like um, some, other, some other contact adhesives you could buy from a DIY store. So would recommend using Hyperbond, um, it is a contact adhesive, it's just uh, waterproof essentially. Uh, one of these tins is going to do at least two gaskets, so I'm going to decant half of the tin into my mixing pot. Try not to make a mess, made a massive mess. I'm going to take one of my mixing stick, <laughs> recover the mess I've made. Okay, and then, so this stuff here in the glass is the second part, the curing agent, but it also adds some of the uh, waterproofing part of it. This is really bad for you, so really make sure you've got gloves on here. You don't want to breathe any of it in, you don't want to get any of it on your skin. Um, the mixing ratio is 3%. Make sure that it's back on. And then we're just going to stir it around and it'll become a real stringy consistency. Once mixed, you has a bit of a working life, so you don't have to rush too much. It's not like a gel coat, um, but make sure you get it all really mixed in and ready for application. Next up, we're going to put our freshly mixed adhesive onto the gasket uh, and then following that onto the boat. But first, we will put, run a piece of inch tape down the middle of the gasket over the slot just to stop any glue getting into that area. So I'm just going to start it there. There we go. You don't want to go right to the end with the tape just because you will need a little bit of glue on the end. Um, I've taken my inch brush and I've cut about a third of the bristles off just to, to stiffen it up a bit, otherwise it's a little bit soft and um, it spreads the adhesive much better this way. Um, give the mixture a little stir just to make sure it's all still there. And I'm just going to take some of the mix and I'm just going to paint it relatively liberally across the gasket. Obviously we've got a bit of tape on the ends, we're just going to make sure to go right over the end. Uh, making sure to go right out over all the edges. We're doing the gasket first because it takes a little bit longer to dry on the gasket than it does the boat. Try and keep it fairly smooth and no, no lumpy bits in it because that will reflect on the gasket when it's stuck onto the boat. making sure again we get a bit over the very end because that's going to stick by the bay moulding. Uh, next up we're going to put it on the boat. To the boat. Uh, same again essentially we're just going to not over the top but obviously we need to cover it well. Again a bit of extra care just around this front because that's going to cause you a problem later if it's not stuck properly. Don't be scared that it's going to dry a little bit because we're going to want it fairly dry 
when we come to bond the surfaces together. There we go, coverage run on the boat. Okay, so now we're just gonna apply a second coat, not so much needed this time. What we wanna make sure is the first layer is dry, and basically you can do that by putting your finger in it, and if nothing comes off, then we're ready to go. So as you can see on this one, it's ready to go. We're not pulling any adhesive off. So I'm gonna do a really thin layer over the whole lot again. Again, making sure we go all the way to the edges. Right, so we're gonna go second coat on the boat. Same, same deal here, not a very thick coat. We want it to be dry, putting our finger on it, checking it, nothing's pulling off. Right, so final stage, uh, got two coats on. We're checking this, it's not too wet. One of the important things here is that the adhesive isn't too wet, because you actually, this does its best bonding when it's, when it's tacky, touch dry almost. So I'm gonna make sure you take the tape off. It'd be a bit of a disaster to leave that on because you won't get it off again. And now we're gonna take the, the prepared gasket, unbelievable. Feel that bit. Okay, so what we want to do now, we obviously want to make sure we've got it all the way to the front in the recess and we want to make sure it's going to be going to be up against, straight up against this thing. So first of all, let's just make sure it's right up against the front so that'll work. And then I'm going to put the top edge up hard up against the, re the top of the recess, making sure it's straight. And then when we've got it there, we can just work it down. Don't worry too much at this point because it can come back up. But we just want to make sure it's straight all the way along and inside the recess, which it is. Uh, two things now. So we're going to need our knife because what we're going to have to do is trim the back edge, but we'll do that when we get there. But first, we're going to take one of these lollipop sticks. One of the one of the ways to get contact adhesive to stick is it needs a pressure. It needs to really have a bond. So by using a stick or something similar. Um, it's been recommended by some people to use a rubber mallet um, to get the adhesion. We're just going to push a lot of pressure, point into a point, point loading again. Like in the preparation stage, we're going to spend a bit of time just making sure that front edge is really well down because that is the bit that's going to come up and cause you problems if it's not done right. You'll see as you work along, the colour changes a little bit as the two surfaces bond together. Can, you, you can see them coming together and then you know you're on to a good thing. Making sure you get right across the whole surface of the recess. Um, unfortunately, we've got something in that, which ordinarily we would go back and take out. You'll see here, if it goes from smooth, you might be able to pick it up and you can just see the surfaces bonding together. And as we work back towards the baler moulding, obviously this would be, if it's a 500, that process is exactly the same, except for it's got a radius on the end. 200 is the same as what we're seeing here. 100 is ever so slightly different because it's individual and 100 will need a little bit of trimming. Um, now I'm going to get my sharp knife and I'm going to trim down against the beta moulding and push the last end down. So I'm going to get the knife, so it needs to be a really sharp blade here and you need to be quite a little bit brave and cut through it and run the knife up against the edge of the beta moulding as your guide. Let's make sure we've got the top out. Peel that away. And then we'll get, go back to our lollipop stick. We're just going to make sure that's really pushed down well again if it's not it's just an edge to come up so you really want to make sure the edges are all down well because as soon as you get some water under a loose edge it's just going to start lifting the whole gasket and then from here we can start thinking about peeling off peeling off our masking tape and we'll lift this all up 
This obviously has kept the mess to a minimum. Getting all the bits off. And then last but no means least, on the tape, we're going to take the tape off the gasket itself. Uh, a little bit trickier because it's normally been on there a bit longer, but if you just keep it flat, roll it back with your thumb, it will come off, hopefully, in one piece-ish. Again, remember to get this off uh, before it goes on the water because it's a bit of a nightmare to pick it off if it's got wet. Take a little care right on the end so we don't lift lift what we've just stuck down. And you'll see here, brand new gasket. Uh, last and most satisfying part, the cleanup. So I've got the solvent four out of the Hyper One kit onto one of my rags, and then this will just clean up all the excess glue just on the edges. Um, so why do we change the gasket? Well, typically you might find started to come off, might have split. Um, so worth having a check and a little look to see how yours is doing. Um, make sure it's as it should be. If it's not, you can buy all these bits you've seen here. You can get it from the RS Sailing Store. If you've got the stuff and you want any help, then you can contact us on those on that website or go to rssailing.com and have a look for the, your local dealer or contact to help you with it. Um, otherwise, everything else you need is in this video. All the bits are on the sailing store. And that's it, brand new slot gasket.